Hi guys, I hope you're well and um, I hope you're really encouraged today and that you are living vibrantly what exactly it is your dreams are. Um, I wanted to share a little bit today. I get asked really often what it is that I believe and um, just so that uh, just to lay a little bit of groundwork for the videos I'm going to be doing on here um, nothing is edited right now I have no intention of having anything edited so <coughs> excuse me it's coming to you pretty raw and um, I appreciate that from others that I um, listen to and uh, I hope that you have the same feeling about it but currently um, you'll hear a bunch of my ums and ahs and all that stuff in my videos because I'm not editing them so um, at such time that the editing starts you probably notice that the videos uh, travel a lot more fluidly and all of that kind of thing but uh, I get asked pretty often about what it is that I believe and it's an interesting question because I did not um, grow up in um, a Western culture I grew up in Africa and uh, other places in the world <clears throat> and it is a foreign concept to me for someone to ask what I believe only because um, because of political turmoil and war etc that um, we live through or pass through in Africa pretty often um, because of that political turmoil people were very hesitant to tell you their political party what their religion was what they believed or anything like that that does not mean that on these videos I'll be vague about it I actually want to address the topic because I believe it to be important um, but with all of that said it's a foreign concept to hear someone or to read someone's message to me saying could you share a little bit about what you believe so here is um, the answer that I give to that because I encountered it so often um, in the United States especially <coughs> I, I encountered people asking me what do you believe um, so my answer would consistently usually go down this rabbit trail of where I'm from uh, that I really never had a home because uh, uh, I traveled quite a bit when I was younger um, my parents were Christian Protestant missionaries and um, so yeah um, I, I would go down an entire trail of explaining to someone uh, what I believe and I would go down a trail that probably didn't make much sense to them because I'm what they call a third culture kid which means my father's from one culture one nation my mother is from another and I grew up in multiples so they call them third culture kids um, I'll say this in some maturing in my life and in the past few years I developed a different answer than the long story and that is um, I have come to the place in my life 
where I recognized how valuable belief was in the life of an individual. And as such, I accounted for the person questioning me about what I believe. I accounted for their belief and the value that it plays in that equation and then decided to answer it this way. Um, not to be vague or to be um, flippant about it. Uh, I took the question to heart and then through a series of calculations that I kind of put together myself, I came up with the answer that it does not matter what I believe, it matters what you believe. And at first, obviously, there's <coughs> quite a, a response that um, is... Um, Let's just say it's it's an odd response, and it depends on the individual how they respond. Some people are actually kind of offended by it. Others uh, are interested in why I would say that. Um, and then some people obviously would think that you're being vague, but you're not. In saying it does not matter what I believe, it matters what you believe, is putting value in the person bringing the question to light. So, um, in this process, <coughs> excuse me, I have, a bit, <coughs> I have a bit of a cough today, but in this process, I learned to say, it does not matter what I believe, it matters what you believe, in full sincerity, because looking for an answer outside of yourself, I find to be fleeting, and to be something that when you get the answer from someone else, it is definitely not from your perspective, it's from their perspective. However, it doesn't matter at all in the grand scheme of things for your own life. And that is because the value on belief should be paramount to all of us. Now, why would I say that? I say that simply because belief governs um, all of our lives in such a way uh, in the macro scheme of things and in the micro as well because belief fashions our decision-making. It not only fashions our decision-making, it also... Um, governs the dreams that we have about our future, the objectives we have, our goals, our, um, our propensity towards going after those things and finding the value in life is all based on belief. I'll give you an example. So Dr. Bruce Lipton, um, a very famous author of the book called The Biology of Belief, um, has done extensive study along with others on the research behind what value belief has in an individual's life. For instance, the study behind someone believing that they were ill, that they would constantly be ill, that they could not recover, um, their life, their body, and every cell in it responds to what they believe. We, who, you know, some of us who look at the glass um, half full as opposed to half empty, uh, would say, no, my body is designed and, and made to be a healing instrument what it does is heal itself. That's what it does and it will overcome uh, any obstacle. And the, the, the other side of that is that the cells in someone's body respond to a positive belief in the same fashion that they respond 
to a negative belief. So what am I saying when I say it does not matter what I believe, it matters what you believe? In essence, I found the value in placing responsibility where it belongs. I have children, and the gr one of the greatest things that I could teach them is that if they make a mess of something, whether philosophically or they make a mess um, just by spilling something, uh, the, one of the best tools that I can give them is teaching them how to clean it up, but not only that, teaching them that they should take responsibility to clean up their mess because it gives them decision-making capability um, in the long term. Belief is vital because it governs every aspect of our life. If I go to a job I do not enjoy and I trudge through my day believing today to be worse than yesterday, constantly, I will get that result. Not only that, vibrationally, metaphysically, um, by biomechanics, everything, my body and others around me will respond in kind. Putting the responsibility on ourselves for what we believe is vitally important. It's going to help us to focus inwardly for an answer and resolve to any dissidents in our life. Taking responsibility for what we believe should be one of the first things we learn. Conventionally that's not done, conventionally that's not taught, but taking responsibility with what we believe is vital because we're not looking for an answer outside of ourselves. We can find it resident and available within ourselves. Now, for those that struggle with depression and um, anxiety and things like that, have walked through those corridors in life before. And I'll tell you this, um, one of the greatest things I ever did was assisting someone else believing that I had an answer for them I could I internally could help them when I was depressed or I was anxious um, it both psychologically physically, mentally, neurochemically, it creates a response that says by the equation after the equal sign, this equals that I have an answer inside of myself and I don't need to look for it in someone else. Even with depression and anxiety and all of that. So in assisting someone else, you're looking at yourself in a mirror saying, hey, I have the capability to assist this person with their problem or, or uh, something as simple as helping them move something around the house. It um, changes the mindset from thinking that you need an answer outside of yourself in a pill form or in the form of someone else's knowledge or someone else's understanding or someone else's belief. Um, so it's a good example of what I believe to be people believing that it does not matter what someone else believes. It only matters what they believe. Um, yeah. Just some of my thoughts for today. I wanted to throw out a few pieces of some of the things that I think about, that I talk about, 
um, that I study through. If you are interested in hearing more or if you have ideas on things that we should discuss or talk about, I would love to hear them. Please comment below and let me know. I will correspond with you. I would love correspondence and interaction. And I, um, by virtue of this channel, I believe that to be vitally important today. So um, like and comment and subscribe or hit the, the bell on the, um, the bar below and you can get notification when new content arises. Um, really appreciate you visiting with me today and uh, I hope to hear from you soon. Have a great day.